You wanna get sexy, shiny, smooth, sleek hair like this, bitch? I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. <clears throat> you better listen up because this, these are the tips that I use and you can use them too. I have gotten so many requests to do a hair care routine video and I have always ignored it. Not because I hate you, but because I really didn't think I had a hair care routine. I don't dye my hair. I've never worn extensions. I barely wash it. So I was like, that's a boring video. It's gonna be real short. But then, as I was getting ready to wash my hair the other day, I realized I actually do have a hair care routine. Like a, a pretty extensive one. It's just that I've been doing it for so long since I was maybe 15 years old that I didn't even realize that I did a hair care routine. Back then when I was 15, we did not have YouTube, okay? We had Marie Claire and Cosmopolitan magazines. I took this article from, I believe it was Marie Claire spring of 2002 and I have just incorporated it into my very being. So yeah, here are my tips from Marie Claire magazine or possibly Cosmopolitan magazine from 2002. Enjoy. So first of all, after washing my hair on like a Sunday or whatever, I don't wash it and then I don't wash it and then I don't wash it and then I don't wash it. I don't wash it. I don't wash it and then I don't wash it. This actually didn't come from the hair care magazine article, but rather laziness or possibly lack of prioritizing washing your hair because ain't nobody got time for it. But it turns out that actually uh, might help your hair. By not washing it, you allow your natural oils to do their thing, whatever they do, it makes your hair good. I don't know, science. Back to 2002. Before hopping in the shower, I brush my hair with a paddle brush. Brushing your hair before washing it is a straight up game changer. It really makes it easy to comb out after the shower. Also make sure you never clean out the paddle brush and all of your previous hair is still hanging in there. It's really important for having good hair. Wow, dang. I really just don't notice how gross and not aesthetic I am until I make a video about it. Okay, moving on. Step two, get in the shower, naked. <laughs> you pervs, I'm not naked for the video. Or am I? Okay, stop flirting, I'm not. This was actually really hard to film and the camera kept fogging up. Anyway, get your hair real wet. Real, real wet. Your hair has to be really wet for the shampoo to lather. I usually use some natural shampoo with organic ingredients like this one from Lush. And I actually just started using this new brand called Function, which is customizable hair care products. It's like shampoo and conditioner, but you get to pick it for your type of hair as well as like what your specific needs are. So for mine, it was volumizing. And you get to pick the color and the scent. I got eucalyptus. Bitch, I'm so sorry, you're not a bitch. I'm so sorry, I am got excited. This is not sponsored, by the way, and in any way, shape, or form, but I just started using them like two weeks ago, and holy balls, I love it. So I shampoo my hair twice. This is from the article. The first time is to remove dirt and grime, and the second time is for um, shine, I think. I don't actually remember, but it does do something, okay? And it lathers way more the second time, which I personally love. I love me some good lather. Then, before conditioning, are you listening? I wring out my hair of as much water as possible. Conditioner does not take well to waterlogged hair. That was a direct quote from this article. So you have to get as much water out as you possibly can before doing it. Then after you get all the conditioner into your hair, make sure you take any loose strands and twirl them into a circle and then stick them on the wall, okay? That's really important. Very, very important to having good hair trust. Also, I personally focus on the tips or the hair not touching the scalp when I condition because I feel like it weighs my hair down when I condition on the scalp. The scalp is where my natural oils are going to do their thing, so I don't need any extra conditioner, okay? I got it handled. My body is good at making its own conditioner. Ew. Anyway, I leave this conditioner on throughout the entirety of the rest of my shower. So I bathe, I shave, exfoliate, get clean, and the conditioner is in that whole time. Then, when I finally rinse out the conditioner, I make sure it rinses completely out. I don't want any residue left over. And then I rinse my hair with cold water. Supposedly, this helps to lock in shine, especially if you dye your hair. I don't dye my hair, but I, if, you are, if you're out there, if you're listening, supposedly, you should do that. Don't ask me how. Ask Marie Claire. I got nothing to do with this. Tips for drying your hair. Okay, this is also from the article. Do not pile your hair on top of your head and shake it. I used to do that when I was a teenager because that's what my parents did to my hair as a kid. 
but this can actually cause breakage. <laughs> you don't want that. Instead, wring it out gently with a towel and then you press slash pat it dry. Then when you go to comb out your hair, you're gonna wanna use a wide tooth comb, again to prevent breakage, again make sure it's disgusting looking. This is also where I part my hair to determine where that's gonna be. Usually it's the part where my scalp is tan. Then you're gonna wanna wait at least 15 minutes before blow drying. You do not wanna be blow drying your hair when it's sopping wet. It's gonna burn your hair, it's gonna fry it. You don't, do you want fried hair? Do you want fried hair? Hey, you want your hair fried over easy? Are you an egg? No. No, you're not an egg. Let your hair dry before you blow dry it. You can also air dry if you want. Um, it's probably better, but I hate having wet hair, so I blow dry. I do use this volumizing spray from Ava NYC, and I found that it makes a difference. Not spun. I just like it. So I take this spray and I spray it all over and then I kind of just hand comb it into my hair before blow drying. I also use this attachment on my blow dryer because supposedly it directs the hair where to go so you have less flyaways, but I don't know. Man, this dryer is old. Why am I so not aesthetic? All of me is from 2002, I think. Anyway, I start with my hair upside down, get all that blown that way and then I go side to side and then I finish by blow drying it down. In my head, I'm blowing it up first for volume and then I'm doing it down to flatten flyaways. Don't know if it really works that way, but that's how it feels like it works in my head and I'm super cool with that. I do all that on the high hot heat setting, high hot heat. Then for the last 30 seconds, I do a cool and low heat setting and I also use this cool button. I don't know if it does anything, but yeah. Cooling your hair after heating your hair is supposed to help to lock in that shine again. It's science, guys, let's not fight science. Now some of you have asked for styling tips. Again, I don't really do a lot in that department. I wish I could help you more. All I really do, and this is the most I do, this is the way my hair is today, is I take a 1.5 inch barrel curling iron and I just kind of grab parts of my hair and twirl outwardly until I got it all. I don't like to like do it all perfect. I just take random chunks and then I hairspray it with whatever hairspray I have and I just kind of muss it Muss it up a little. Muss it. Muss it. Why does that remind me of an Eminem song? Muss it. My pen and paper cause a chain reaction to get your brain relaxing. A zaniac, a maniac, a faxin. You maybe lack attraction. You look a zany whack with just a fraction of my tracks run. My rhyming skills got you climbing hills. What are we doing? I forgot where I am. Okay. Hair care. Is this video helping so far? Why don't you leave a like and, and a comment if it is? So style, what are we doing styling? Okay, so when my hair is really dirty and I'm a busy bitch and I don't have time to wash it, I like to style it in a messy top knot. And the way that I do my top knot, people have said I should make a video about it, but I don't got time to make a whole new video about it. I said I'm a busy bitch. I'm just gonna put it in this video. This is how you achieve an awesome messy top bun that makes people think you took time on it. First, you're gonna wanna take all of your hair and flip it over your head. Then, you grab it with the hand that has the rubber band on it, and you kinda grab it a little bit away from the scalp, maybe like an inch or two away from the scalp. And then, you're gonna wanna take that rubber band and pull your hair halfway through it, but before you pull it all the way through, you flip it over and then grab that part and put the twist the rubber band and put it around. And then that's it. Then you just pull the back part of that bun thingy. And I like to kind of pull out um, some of the hair from the bun. So it kind of looks like, oh, I woke up like this. I'm so messy, but also really chic. That's just me. And I have some other extremely quick go-to hairstyles for when the bottom of my hair is still kind of nice looking, but the top of my hair is looking a little funky. I have this half up, half down in a clip look. This half up, half down with basically just the front portion in a rubber band. Clips, hats, headbands, done. I don't ever like to spend more than 10 minutes on my hair. Like even when I curl it, it's only gonna take 10 minutes. Anything after 10 minutes, someone better be getting married. There better be an open bar. I better have pictures of it. I don't have time. I don't know if this counts as a hair care routine, but I've also heard there's some foods that I personally eat that help with hair, like avocados, fish, walnuts, anything with omegas. I make sure to take vitamins A, D, E, and K, and I used to take biotin for my nails, which I think also helps with hair, but then I think it made me break out, so then I stopped using it. But maybe it works for you, I don't know. And lastly, my most important hair care secret that makes my hair look exactly like this and if you want your hair to look exactly like this, listen up.
Are you ready? My number one hair care secret is genetics. Genetics, 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 genetics. If anybody ever tells you that there's some sort of product you can put in your hair to get your hair to look exactly like theirs, they are full of sh But regardless, I think that most of these tips can be applied to you no matter what kind of hair you have, because again, they were taken from a Marie Claire, possibly Cosmopolitan magazine in 2002, a very broad audience. Maybe try it out for like a month or two, and if it made a difference for you, leave it in the comments. I would like to know. I'm genuinely curious. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, those notifications, hit the like button, do all the things. We could use it here. Help a girl out. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. Bye.